نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدری و یسر لي امری و احلل عقدتا من لسانی یفقه قولی و جعل لي وزیر من اخلی اللهم فکهنا فی الدین رب زدنی علما اللهم إني أسألك علما نافيا رزقا طيبا وأملا متكبلا آمين ثم آمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سورة الصف This surah was revealed in Medina with 14 verses, two stanzas, 61st by the order of arrangement and 109th by the order of revelation. The name of the surah, it derives from what Allah has mentioned in the fourth verse. Allah says, يُقَاتِلُونَ فِي سَبِيلِهِ صَفًا كَأَنَّهُمْ بُنْيَانٌ مَرْسُوسٌ That the Muslims, they fight in the path of Allah as if they were what? They were a strong constructed wall. They were in rows. They were in a saf. The period of revolution has been explained to be closely following the battle of Uhud. And the main theme and the subject matter of the surah is to, first of all, is to exhort the Muslims to adopt sincerity, to adopt sincerity in faith and to struggle with their lives in the cause of Allah. At uh, the outset, the believers have been born to the effect that Allah indeed hates all those people who say one thing and they do other. And he loves those who fight in the cause of truth, standing like a solid structure against the enemies of Allah. So Allah has, uh, Allah has negated all forms of insincere, hypocritic manners and has promoted and encouraged Uh, Muslims towards sincere, true manners of Islam. In verses 5 uh, to 7, the people of uh, Prophet Sallallahu community have been warned that their attitude towards the messenger and their religion should not be like that of the people of Bani Israel. They had adopted towards Hazrat Musa salam, and Hazrat Isa salam. And then in verses of 8 and 9, verse number 8 and 9, a proclamation has been made with a challenge that the Jews and the Christians and the hypocrites who are conspiring with them, they may try hard enough. They may try hard enough to extinguish the light of Allah, but this light of Allah will shine forth and spread in the world in all its fullness. And the religion brought about by Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it shall prevail over every other religion, however hateful it may be to the disbelievers or to the polytheists. So this was an open proclamation by Allah in these verses, number eight and nine. And then in verses number 10 to 13, the believers have been told the way to success, both here and hereafter, is only one, that they should believe in Allah, his messenger, and they should sincere. They should be sincerely exerting in the way of Allah with themselves and with their wells also. So this is the main subject of um, the surah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Sabbaha lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ardi wa huwa al-azizul haqeem. Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu lima taquluna ma la taf'aloon. قبر مقتا عند الله أن تقول ما لا تفعلون. Whatever is in the heavens, Allah says, whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth exalts Allah and he is the exalted in might and wise. O you who have believed, why do you say? Why do you say something which you do not do? Great is hatred in the sight of Allah that you say what you do not do. So the basic message and the meaning of this verse is that there should be complete agreement between a true Muslim's word and his deed. 
he should carry out into effect what he says. Whatever he claims, whatever he declares, whatever he announces, whatever he says, and whatever he advises, he should carry it out himself in his personal deeds also. And when he has no intentions of doing the thing, or he has no power for carrying it on, then he should not go about telling others or advising others about it also. To say one thing and to do one of the most is what? To say one thing and to do and not to do it himself is one of the most hideous characteristics of a man. So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. It is what? It is like a manner of hypocrisy as has been reported in Muslim and also in Bukhari, that traits of a hypocrite are four, that whenever he talks is a hadatha qadaba, that whenever he talks, he converses, he tells a lie, it's a ahada qadara, that whenever he makes a pledge, a promise, he, he breaks it. And then is a tumana khana, whenever he is entrusted, he is distrustful, he's not trustworthy is a hosama fajara that when he indulges or when he gets it gets into a fight he just erupts he he is ill-mannered and he just is he just is abusive so this is all what a difference in saying something and not actually doing is a manner of hypocrisy which allah has commented that is hateful to him what is beloved to him? Verse number four. Indeed, Allah loves those who fight in his cause in a row as though they are a single structure joined firmly. Allahumma ja'alna minhum. And mention when Musa alayhi salam said to his people, oh my people, why do you harm me while you certainly know that I am the messenger of Allah to you? And when they deviated, Allah caused their hearts to deviate and Allah does not guide the defiantly disobedient people. And mention when Isa alayhi salam, the son of Maryam alayhi salam, said, O oh, children of Israel, indeed I am the messenger of Allah to you, confirming what came before me of Torah and bringing good tidings of a messenger to come after me, whose name is Ahmad. So we learn from here that the glad tidings, and the good news of arrival of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was given by the books of the previous messengers also. The arrival of uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was mentioned, was informed, and was prophesied by Hazrat Musa Alaihi Salam, by Hazrat Isa Alaihi Salam, and has been mentioned in Injil and Torah also. Name of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his father's name, his mother's name, the name of the community or the locality or the city in which he will be born and bred, and the name of the city to which he will immigrate, the, the characteristics of the rows of Salah of his companions. This has all been mentioned to the finest of details. And then all these, all these messengers, Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, not only had they given the glad tidings of arrival of, arrival of Rahmatullah alameen, the seal of prophets, but at the same time, they had also... They had also taken the pledge that they will believe in him, they will support him, they will respect him, and they will help him. So that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning here, because the people of the Jews of Medina, they were going against the pledge and they were going against the information of their book, which had been revealed to them in the verses of Torah. And uh, clearly remember that all those who go through the complete book of Torah and Injil, they definitely come across all these glad tidings which have been revealed in the verses of the two divine scriptures. So bringing good tidings of a messenger to come after me, whose name is Ahmad, but when he came to them with clear evidences, they said, this is obvious magic. This was all what? This is obstinacy, stubbornness, and arrogance. And in fact, Above all, it was the world, it was the worldly love. And who is more unjust than the one who invents about Allah untruth while he is being invited to Islam and Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. 
they want to extinguish the light of Allah with their mouths, but Allah will perfect his light, although the disbelievers dislike it. And it is he who has sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth to manifest it over all religions, although those who associate others with Allah dislike it. Remember, may the polytheists, may the disbelievers, may the people of the book, may all of them, all the kafirin, all the fasikin, all the munafiqin, may all of the anti-Islamic forces, they unite to suppress this nur of Allah, this religion of Islam, they will not succeed to do so. And that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning in this verse number eight and nine. This religion was... This nur of Allah, this nur of Quran was made. It was made, it was created, it was sent down to be perfected and it will be perfected. It will be perfected. Remember, we need not worry about its perfection. We need not be in a state of despair about its perfection. It is all to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has planned that it will be perfected. And so we need to believe that it will be perfected. So rather than just, just getting upset of how it will be perfected, what we need to worry about is that how much of our time, how much of our time, of our activities, of our struggles, or of, of our efforts and our wealth and riches are we spending for the perfection of this perfect religion? Because those who will be deprived, those who will be deprived will be deprived here after. And those who achieve this goal of working, of striving and struggling for the perfection of this religion will obviously be those who succeed here and hereafter. Allahumma ja'alna minhum. O you who have believed, shall I guide you to a transaction that will save you from the painful punishment? It is that you believe in Allah and his messenger and strive in the cause of Allah with your wealth and your lives. That is best for you if you should know. He will forgive you for your sins and admit you to gardens beneath which rivers flow and pleasant dwellings in gardens of perpetual residence. That is the greatest attainment. And you will obtain another favor that you love victory from Allah and an imminent conquest and good and give good tidings to the believers. O oh, you who have believed, be supporters of Allah. <coughs> o oh, you who have believed, be supporters of Allah, as when Jesus, the son of Hazrat Maryam alayhi salam, said to his disciples, who are my supporters for Allah? Man ansari illallah was the call of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. The disciples said, nah no ansarullah. This response, this, this manner, this behavior to respond to the call of man and swari in Allah has been so light. It has been so appreciated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah has mentioned this response, behavior, and manners of the disciples of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam more than once in Quran. And it has, it has been protected and saved in Quran for all those for reading and reciting and, and going through for all those who read and recite the Quran so that they learn what behavior and manner pleases Allah and what behavior and manner Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from all of us as his Muslim bondsmen. They said, we are the supporters of Allah and a faction of the children of Israel believed and a faction disbelieved. So we supported those who believed against their enemy and they became dominant. Allahumma ihtina sirat al mustaqeem. Allahumma ihtina sirat al mustaqeem. Allahumma alhimna rushtan wa arizna min shiruni an pusina. Allahumma arin al haqqa haqqa wa rizukna tibara. Allahumma arin al batila batila wa rizukna jhtinaba. Ameen summa ameen.